Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in our rainy season. We have received rain. We are very thankful. And here I am in the cistern. The water is grayish. There is some floating organic material and it is about a meter from the top. Um, this is a cistern but it's open towards the, the shaft, the mine, the channel and uh, this is where the water leaks from into the creek so a uh, lot more water than normal so this is a shaft into this tunnel up to another shaft over there and the water level rises in this whole shaft and uh, that part leaks into the uh, creek this is the shaft and uh, some metal stairs on the side to go down. Now the column, the mine, the canal, the tunnel is almost full. On to the second shaft. with the creek next door still a little bit flowing water let's see what's in here the second shaft it's quite some water but not to the top of the tunnel as on the lower shaft and then here on the right is the cone shaped dome with all the sand a huge structure it's about three meters in diameter about six meters deep, two meters higher than the water level, just here in this area. Now, this is where I don't know what is happening. Lots of rocks here. So, a few options. Either there is a fountain that seeps up through this huge sand section and then it overflows and it goes down this canal towards the cistern this used to be a canal right down a few kilometers that had water running all year round other option that all these rocks were placed here and the water infiltrates through the rocks towards this sand pit decantadora the decanter and uh, I still don't know if the sand is if that hole is it a catchment area for sediment or is it a filtration system to clean the water this must have been drinking water it must have been clean water so i don't know now i have placed the fatal slippery 
sandbags there to get the water higher I was expecting a bigger flow and then I wanted to get into this tunnel into the shaft and see if the water enters the walls of the shaft so it didn't happen uh, because the flow was polite was nice was good was excellent but not for what I wanted to see so the water most probably filters through here and then gets in there because the color of the water is more or less the same as the creek that might be a sign there are many things I still have to find out those bags are not good because a normal sandbag is quite rough the water can go through it and uh, they do not float this one fills up with water and it actually floats so uh, I was not as clever as I thought I am but uh, this will change I have now a better idea and I want to understand more um, the whole area there in front of Fus was covered with sand, dirt that came from the area behind the wall and it's all washed down but it's mainly here so not much flow happened I didn't want I don't want that kind of flow to block the entrance to this canal system that's why I diverted it also more to the right um, <coughs> I'm very very scared to do something wrong here um, unfortunately the people the locals they all repeat the same stories um, <clears throat> I come from Africa I grew up with ostriches no ostrich has ever put its head in the sand as the myth goes we even talk about ostracizing it's only because they collect the moisture under the leaves of plants in the dry desert areas it looks like their heads are under the sand but it's not here they tell me <clears throat> uh, this is the sand is a sediment trap it might be a filter I don't know I can't get hold of the right people to tell me um, I had construction people here that build these things and clean these things and when you have a septic tank and you ask somebody to come and have a look at it they always tell you you have to empty it because this is how they make money if I get these construction workers out here they tell me they have to pump this sand out this is how they make money they wanted more than 10,000 euros just to do that no I need to learn I need to find out I need to become wiser regarding this water it's important to me it's my water supply my plants survive on this canal system I hope I can find better clear answers there's some of the dirt left that did not wash down it just shows how little flow there actually was a lot of the flow actually went down our canal which is brilliant um, there is bedrock 
and the water actually stays very long in that area. There's bedrock here, there's bedrock there. Let's go further. There's bedrock here, this whole area. Here is the first of the weirs, leaky weirs that elevated the level of this creek a lot because it is more than a meter of sediment that gets trapped here and then lower down it gets trapped again and again so this area it now gets water from higher up from the street from the culvert but uh, even when that water stops flowing this way there's a fountain for it can be 30 40 days afterwards because it comes from the cistern the shaft the tunnel the canut and then it leaks from here this way where we then have a puddle of water where I would there where I usually collect my daily shots of water in the creek goes further another gabion and then the newer one and then a lot of branches and then a kind of temporary pond because that wall I was building it to for the excavator to cross and then I just thought let me cover it with plastic for the rainy season and so far it's still lasting the water flow uh, it the water flows on the right and the left spillways so a uh, very gentle flow over the grass no erosion when we came here the first time almost three years ago and there was some rain it was a loud roar of moving rocks on bedrock and that has ended because there are many areas where the water is pacified Some more rain on its way. Everything is full. We are happy. Till next time. Goodbye.